Welcome to uh, Truth or Raps. This will probably be the last time you'll see this red shirt, uh, or this red, actually this red, white, and blue shirt. I've been uh, promoting America all along, you know, but this is the last time you'll probably see this red, white, and blue shirt for a while. Actually, isn't it interesting? Now that I point out the red, white, and blue thing, of course it's overtaken by an orange, uh, you know, would you call this a sweatshirt? It's not a, it is a, it's kind of a sweater. I, I, I have never been so comfortable with what I call like this kind of shirt. But yeah, it is symbolically interesting. No matter what you uh, want to have, what you want to have happen in terms of the political cycle, and I would hope the answer would be, you'd want the world to be a free world with no giant control mechanisms uh, infiltrating and desecrating the people of the world all the time, but um, in so many, so many, so many, so many ways, um, like so many, so many, so many, I should just make a list of ways, but that wouldn't be rap related. Uh, well, actually it might be. Uh, there, are, I've, been, I've been thinking of um, doing a video of like top five or top ten most controversial rap lyrics. I've got two loaded up. Oh boy, they're controversial. Um, I'll actually say the less controversial one now. And by this by this less controversial one, I think you might get an idea of what the more controversial one, like how controversial that's going to be. But this less controversial one, it actually, I was, I was sort of like taken aback by it when I heard it. And I was like, oh man, like I, I really respected, um, actually now I've got another one from the first Brave album. I really respected Adam Calhoun for having the balls to say something like this on the Brave 2, but on the Brave 1, let's just say Tom McDonald says a line that mentions people who might be associated with a certain uh, female Clinton character in the political sphere. And I remember being shocked by that. I actually posted a fucking blog post on mattthoughts.com by that, I think, that day. So you can go read that um, if it's still there. It, it, just search uh, Clinton, and it'll come up around the time of the release and the mailing out of the albums, uh, The Brave. But The Brave 2, Adam Calhoun says something that's possibly even more incendiary. The first one would be more likely to get Tom McDonald, uh, let's just say, into a bad situation himself, physically, perhaps. Maybe that's I was like sort of worried for him when he said that. Although if he's part of the control mechanism, then why worry? But um, the second, the second one by Adam Calhoun, and I'm not saying Tom McDonald is or isn't, but um, I talk more about that in a different video here. Um, and go check out some of my stuff about Tom McDonald on MattThoughts.com or MattThoughts2.com, to the digit. Um, and Matt Thoughts with three T's in the middle of those words. You know, Matt Thoughts. All three T's. But, um, but yeah, so this, this line by Adam Calhoun, I'm not sure which song it is, but it's one of the songs in The Brave 2. He says... I don't understand it like you speak in Spanish, Hispanic. <laughs> uh, he, he goes on, he starts, actually I'll read a little more around it because without having any other context, you know, it might be cutting something off that is connected with it. But um, yeah, let's, genius.com, genius is down, wow, I've never seen genius down, that's, this is sort of historic. Uh, so the Brave 2. I, I'm really not sure what, um, yeah, it is down, shit. Well, I guess, so you talk about how you hate the website Genius, now, now do without it. Um, oh, because I didn't search the Brave 2 lyrics. Yeah, I'm gonna find this shit, the Brave 2 lyrics album. Uh, yeah, Genius, okay. Um, but then music's match. It tends to come up second. Um, damn it. Uh, it's going to be tough. 
Well, you know what? I'm not sure I'm going to find it. Um, so I'm not going to spend the time looking for it. it. It might take a while just to literally load up every song and then type in Spanish. <sighs> you know what? To quote No Country for Old Men, and this is one of my favorite quotes, and I think I've thought back to it many times. What are you doing, Lou Allen? About to do something dumber than hell, but I'm going anyway. Or some, something like that. And But what he's referring to is bringing a jug of water to somebody at like the site of what appeared to be some kind of shootout in the desert. And it was this person who had asked him for water and like seemed to be like uh, dying of thirst out there. And so this is hours later at night, and he's she's like, "What are you, what are you doing, Llewellyn?" Because he gets out of bed and he starts filling the jug of water in the kitchen. What are you doing, Llewellyn? About to go do something dumber than hell, but I'm going anyway, or something like that. Like, I love that phrase because that phrase is the phrase of a man who's doing the right thing. You know, um, not that doing the right thing always or even usually would be deemed as something dumber in hell, although it would be deemed as something dumber in hell a lot more than most people probably think it would, because doing the right thing means standing up to people and pointing out when things are wrong, uh, and that might be at your place of employment. Like, if, 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 your place, if your business is doing something shifty and you're not saying anything about it, then there is a right thing that you could be doing that you're not doing. I'm not saying you're bad to not do it, because I'm not, although I would say if you don't do it and you keep working for the business, then you are contributing to them doing that shifty thing because you're contributing to the pile of money that they're then doing a shifty thing with that you know about. So continuing to work there and not saying anything or just continuing to work there at all, really. I worked this out on um, LGOE period on my Rumble page and I came to a conclusion like this from having a similar situation of my own, really, um, if you continue working there at all, that's immoral because you are literally contributing to the force of something shifty that is going on. You're, you being there is contributing to the operation of that business and the operation of that business is pointed in at least one shifty way. And so you are contributing to that shifty thing happening, especially if you don't say anything about it. And so you could be like someone, you could be more like someone like me and I, you know, I recommend sort of doing this very carefully, but you could be someone more like me who does point it out at their place of business. And then when the people refuse to do anything about it, you say, okay, then I quit. That You could be like me and do that, but you know, that's, that's a tough road to walk. And that's a road that might have you standing there in the middle of the night, like, Lou, Lou Ellen Moss, I almost said Lou and Davis, Lou Ellen Davis, Lou and Davis, totally different movie and totally immoral guy in that movie. But uh, in this movie, you know, you or in, in the movie of your life, if you're actually going to say, okay, I am going to uh, say something about this shifty thing that's going on in any, it doesn't have to be your job, but any kind of group of people you're, you're uh, going along with, if there's a shifty thing going on, then it's sort of, it's really, if you want to remain moral, it is sort of your responsibility to A, completely stop contributing to it, which of course is easier said than done, especially in a job, but then like a job where basically by your being there and working, you are helping that shifty thing happen, so therefore you really should just leave immediately, but of course that would be very disruptive to your um, money-making situation maybe and probably or whatever. Anyway, if you actually do say like, okay, yeah, I'm at least I'm going to say something, I'm going to approach doing a better thing in this situation, then you want to be very careful about that as well. And so you may find yourself like sitting up at night feeling like Llewellyn Moss saying, I'm about to go do something dumber than hell, but I'm going anyways. Now, um, in any case, that... Yeah, you know what? I'm about to go do something dumber than hell, but I'm going anyways. Um, I may cut out the part of this, but basically, I'm going through each song lyrics uh, page for uh, this album, The Brave 2, and I am just searching for the word Spanish. And let's see. 
are there any lyrics? Oh, still no lyrics here. Well, that would have been truly, uh, that would have been truly inefficient to do that. So what I'm going to do that's really efficient is I'm just going to search, I don't understand it, Adam Calhoun, and maybe I'll find the lyric that way. Adam Calhoun. Brave lyrics. Oh, how about that? I don't understand it. Brave lyrics. I don't know. Okay. The brave lyrics. I don't understand it. Uh, how about the brave? This should find it. If it really has the brave too. Spanish, the Brave 2 lyrics. How about that? There we go. You're America. I believe I might have found it. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I believe I might have found it. And thank goodness. How fast was that, you guys? How fast was that as opposed to how fast it could have been? Speak. Oh, well, that wasn't wasn't as fast as it could have been because I didn't actually find it. Um, maybe it's here. Speak. Speak in the truth, but not, not the other thing. I'll, one more. Yeah, there we go. We found it. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> what happened there I looked in the little excerpt of what was going to be on the site on the search results and there it was now I just have to actually find it on this seemingly gigantic page full of ads and strange formatting um, yeah okay well he starts the verse with this Adam Calhoun starts the verse with this and I consider this to come off sounding pretty controversial uh, by the way, the other quote that I was thinking of, I'm not going to say it here, uh, at least in this video, maybe I will say it in the controversial lyrics video, but it's a quote by the rapper Immortal Technique, and he says, and fuck the president, I voted for something like that. Just search I voted for uh, as a phrase and Immortal Technique, and it should be something like, and fuck the president, I voted for and that should be from Revolutionary Volume 1 or 2. Uh, that, that is something that's so controversial, I don't even want to say it here without, like, sort of carefully fitting it into the video, because <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a phrase that, uh, you know, I, that's a phrase that it's like, oh man, really? Like, immortal technique? You're not even that mainstream. Like, if anyone's being pushed by Tavistock, like, or pushed by some other kind of thing like that, maybe, it doesn't seem like it might be someone like you necessarily. It's like Immortal Technique making like two albums and then like nothing for a long time. And I, I don't know if he ever really came back, but in any case. In the song Rubber Boots on the Brave 2, Adam Calhoun starts a verse with I can't understand it like he's speaking Spanish, Hispanic. <laughs> oh my God. But the way he says it, it sounds maybe a little less... It sounds like maybe a little less controversial of a thing to just like say in rap lyrics. Like just the wording, everything there. Uh, it sounds like a little less controversial, but the way he says it, like his with his grindy kind of... With his grindy kind of voice that sounds like, um, you know, coolant or something. Like his voice, it has, it's, it has like this sort of like cold burn to it. And it's like, it's I, I like Adam Calhoun's voice. And he's, he does some pretty interesting stuff on The Brave. Uh, but with his sort of grindy, almost like Vinnie Paz, but a little different kind of voice. Um, I can't understand it like he's speaking Spanish, Hispanic. Like it... It is a, I heard that line, I was like, oh man, like, they really are kind of uh, pushing the boundaries of what might be accepted here. Um, and that was sort of the, 
concept with the Brave albums. I have both of them in the other room. Uh, um, you know, if Tom McDonald releases a new album, I probably will get it. Um, because, you know, Tom, I I referred to his a couple of his lines in prior videos. I think Tom McDonald is better than people give him credit for. Then again, I think he, interestingly enough, falls into the same traps Eminem sometimes falls into in terms of the production sounding kind of generic, the kind of choruses, like anything sing-songy or like the production or anything other than the rapping itself often sounding kind of generic, except sometimes that even seeps into the rest of it with Tom McDonald. But like Tom, you know, I it's just like he'll he'll hit you with some really hot stuff. Listen to the first couple songs on Gravestones and then listen to No Response, which is the last song on it. That's some really hot stuff. 